I'm Ashton Addison from Event Chain for Investment Pitch Media and the Crypto Coin Show. And today on Blockchain Interviews, we have Lou Tran, the Engineering Director at Cardia Chain. Welcome to the show, Lou, and thank you for being here. Oh, thank you, Addison, and the Crypto Car Show. Uh, I'm Lou Tran. I'm an uh, Engineering Director of Cardia Chain. Yeah, well, welcome to the show. I would love if you could start with giving a little bit of background on yourself uh, in the blockchain industry and um, how you got involved with Cardia Chain. Uh, I've been working it. Uh, uh, I were I I've been working with like traditional uh, technology business for about uh, eight, eight years, and uh, I have joined Cardia Chain about two years ago, and. Uh, um, I'm first start with Cardia Chain as a developer, but now as a team grow, uh, so uh, I um, I have promoted to the like director of the engineering and uh, manage on the uh, developer in Vietnam. Mm -hmm. Very cool, Lou. And can you please give a high level overview of the Cardia Chain blockchain? Uh, what makes it unique and some of the goals? Uh, the high level, uh, like a uh, cardia chain, is we are building a like an in infrastructure blockchain. Uh, our goal is like uh, it's a it's a blockchain that can accessible for millions of users because uh, it uh, it cheap, it fast, and is a uh, like efficiency. And uh, our goal is we aim to push the current boundary by solving one of the most pressing uh, like issue currently facing in the blockchain technology is like the co-chain communication. Mm -hmm. Our goal is uh, create an uh, unfair ecosystem that combines all participants, collective strength to the, far, to the foundation of, uh, for blockchain mass adoption. Mm -hmm. Definitely cross-chain interoperability is going to be huge for the industry moving forward. And we did speak recently with Cosmos Protocol, which is working on an inner blockchain communication protocol. How is Cardia Chain uh, working towards blockchain interoperability? Are you working with the Ethereum ecosystem or just many different blockchains? How is that working? Uh, for the, like the blockchain is our blockchain is first first one is compatible with like on the Ethereum virtual machine, so uh, it can deploy kind of contract on the EVM uh, compatible system like uh, Ethereum, uh, Binance Smart Chain, and other EVM based blockchain. So uh, our like um, we have uh, our node is is a, it's a uh, our node node is a pattern a pattern pending uh, like the pattern pending uh, solution for mm -hmm. the antimon the antimon bone of Cardia chain is to create the unfair ecosystem where developers can easily create smart contract and uh, can run on multiple uh, multiple blockchain to optimize first one is the cost uh, to avoid congestions and allow community communication with smart contract on other trade in a just like and secure manner. Mm -hmm, definitely. And that's great. And as a Vietnam project, I when I was recently in Vietnam, uh, I talked with the Google developer system and there seemed like a lot of great development going on uh, in Vietnam. So I know that your team, when we last had you on the show, uh, we had uh, it you guys on around the beginning of the year, you just launched the mainnet uh, for Cardia Chain. How has that been growing, and how is the mainnet going since it's been launched for a few months now? Uh, uh, the mainnet is uh, have been launched for about uh, three months, over three months, and um, it's stable. It's stable for now. We have a lot uh, today. We reach uh, one billion uh, second amount of Kaito, native Kai token on the mainnet, mm -hmm. and. Uh, we have grown from uh, like over 100 smart contracts from our partner and uh, like freelance developer. That's great. And I saw that you have a ton of partners on the website with some pr the pretty big yeah. blockchain projects. Could you talk about some of the major partnerships that your team uh, has acquired recently? Yeah, it's, uh, like uh, the last year we are working, uh, we, we will work with Teta for the like the tokenize the uh, uh, e streaming platform and um, 
but uh, you know because of uh, the like the legal in uh, Vietnam the, for the donation thing uh, it's not a, it's, it's like it's not legal like yet so we have to uh, like uh, is this uh, spending is is in the pending and uh, our other big partner is uh, like Chainlink Neo uh, Ontology or Matic. We are working with them to like we will uh, create the uh, to expand the dual node ecosystem to connect to their blockchain. Wow, that's that's great. And Theta, Theta is a pretty promising project that I think is going to need some help with scalability because they're growing really quickly. And to have yeah. Chainlink, Ontology, uh, these other great platforms, uh, that's commendable. So great work on that so far. I was researching into what's coming up uh, for uh, Cardia Chain, and I saw, as you mentioned, this new milestone about the amount of Kai token that's being staked for the platform. Uh, can you talk about yeah. the Kai token, some of the major functionalities within Kai token uh, in Cardia Chain, and, and does it create a sustainable ecosystem for the participants? Uh, uh, the like the Cardia Chain token is is uh, it's a, it's a, the governance token in the whole Cardia Chain ecosystem. Uh, you can you uh, Kai is used for like the transition fees. Uh, you can use Sky for staking, your farming, and our upcoming IDO platform. Mm -hmm. Oh, you're building an IDO platform? Uh, that's interesting. Yeah. When uh, Can you tell me a little bit more about the IDO platform? Are you planning on launching uh, Ethereum-based projects, Cardia Chain-based, uh, and, and is that coming soon? Uh, yeah, so is it coming in this quarter? Mm -hmm. This will come in this we are uh, we are uh, already uh, finalized uh, like the production but uh, uh, because uh, it's have, it, it must become after the next launch yeah so yeah we, I was gonna we, ask you about that yeah. uh, you're also building a decentralized exchange what can you tell me about uh, building this exchange on the protocol the assurance so uh, uh, we have the kydex, uh, the Kydex is uh, like it's uh, like the very first product to uh, promote our dual node technology, and um, uh, Kydex is uh, like is the first guy that decentralization market with feature uh, with the feature of more uh, less decentralization and centralization. Um, Kydex provide on chain liquidity to allow uh, allow users trap uh, the cross chain assets. And token from other any kind blockchain ecosystem without integration from the like from the partner chains, mm -hmm. then user can freely withdraw to other chain like uh, Ethereum, uh, BSC, or even uh, Bitcoin blockchain. Mm -hmm. Very cool. That's um, yeah, and uh, we also provide the, like the easy to use trading tool, like you can. Uh, Real time price track, uh, limit order, market order, uh, provide liquidity to earn passes, is income among staking on the mainnet. Mm -hmm. Great. Thank you for that, Lou. And yeah. you're working on the DEX, but I also saw that you're working on an NFT platform. Uh, are you building an NFT marketplace or just releasing NFTs on Cardia Chain? How, how is that working? Um, we are provide like we, we are provide like the SDK for developer can build uh, uh, NFT and DF on our blockchain. Uh, um, we we are already uh, working with Top Up for Top Up is like a, um, the game, a gaming studio and uh, they are they will release their first their very first uh, NFT game. Uh, my DeFi pet on Cardia Chain Network. Uh, <clears throat> uh, for the uh, we on the roadmap, we we mentioned that we mentioned that we uh, we will uh, uh, have support for NFT uh, support for F NFT launch because uh, our dual node technology can uh, swap like we can swap NFT across other chain. Mm. So uh, my number and. Uh, with uh, my DeFi pack, will be the first one. Will be the first NFT game that 
that support both uh, Binance Smart Chain and Cardia Chain. Very cool. I will be watching for those NFT releases. Thank you for that, Lou. Yeah. And uh, oh, uh, one more thing. Uh, and uh, other like traditional business uh, with the country. Yeah, uh, is it like the marketplace or for us? For us, that we have the success launch of uh, version one, and uh, we are working with country to release a uh, version two on like next week. Mm -hmm. That's great. And I think that's needed because NFTs on Ethereum right now have quite high gas costs. And I know Cardia Chain has that scalability. And to be able to partner with Binance Smart Chain as well uh, should be really advantageous for helping move the NFT industry forward. So uh, that's exciting. Um, and you did mention that your team has developed, you know, f since the mainnet launch, there's 100 plus smart contracts uh, on the platform that are developed. I'm curious to know, how are you incentivizing more developers to, to build on Cardia Chain? And are you seeing organic growth of developers that want to create dApps uh, and NFTs on Cardia Chain? Uh, for now, we are like we are working with some uh, domestic media. Uh, we host like the like Cardia Chain workshop weekly for our uh, partner, uh, the traditional businesses. and. Our partner, uh, our like uh, potential developer, and also student, uh, we are have the workshop weekly to uh, intro the about the Cardia Chain uh, technology, how to build the app, uh, how to build uh, like issue their token or NFT, and. Um, um, like we we will expand the incentive program for international developer um, mm. this quarter. Yeah, that's great to know. And yeah, it it seems like Cardia Chain is doing really well since the launch. You're continuing to grow and build new applications. What do you think will be one of the major key factors to success for the long term mainstream and widespread adoption of Cardia Chain? Uh, to me, the because uh, <coughs> we are working with many like many uh, you know, centralized chain uh, in Vietnam, so uh, they really want to use like the Kydex. Mm -hmm. uh, so uh, most of the transaction we for uh, on the minute will port from their platform, their trading platform. Mm -hmm. So the main, I think, the main success uh, for for Cardia Chain is the DEX, yeah. and the second one is the ideal platform. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that does sound exciting. For the viewers that are interested in following along for when IDOs start to get launched and when the decentralized exchange is live and the NFTs are being released, what's the best way for them to stay up to date with this kind of information and get involved in the community? Uh, they can subscribe the email from our website and because of we have like the weekly and monthly recap, and uh, we will announce on the smart, uh, subscriber on the upcoming project and uh, a live media campaign. Uh, or um, user can also join our uh, Telegram channel to discuss more about the upcoming project. Mm -hmm. Great. I will leave the links in the description box below as well. Thank you so much for taking the time to speak about Cardia Chain. All the best with all of these updates upcoming here, and let's follow up in the near future. Oh, thank you so much, Addison. Yeah.